Hi, my name is Michael Roman. Welcome to another Friday Cocktail Hour. Yes, another week has passed. We are still in the time of COVID. Um, so please be careful. Don't spread the virus. Today's cocktail is in honor of my dearest friend, Blake Bailey. He's a great author, many biographies, um, and has a fabulous biography of Philip Roth coming out this spring. I urge you um, to pre-order it. Uh, it's a fabulous book. It's both literary, beautifully written, and gossipy all at the same time. It's, 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 it's terrific. Anyway, when he and I get together, we have martinis. Um, and these days, because until I drop a few of these COVID pounds, um, I'm trying to stay away from uh, high calorie elixirs, such as Campari. So no Negronis for me for a while, or maybe just one on the weekend. So today I'm doing a martini, but because I'm having the, the typical cocktail, um, I wanted to vary it a little, and so I turned to uh, David Levowitz uh, and his Drinking French, and also to Robert Simonson, um, uh, who has a great book called Three Ingredient Cocktails, um, both of whom suggest putting a dash of orange bitters in. Uh, Simonson argues that um, a, a garnish is not an ingredient, and a cocktail does need three ingredients to be a cocktail. Um, <clears throat> I wonder what he'd say about a gin and tonic. Um, anyway, uh, orange bitters, and I'm just going to try this. I haven't done this, but I thought I'd flame a uh, orange zest into this cocktail. So for Blake, we are going to do a modified um, martini. Now, David Lebowitz suggests that we use two ounces, two and a half ounces of gin and one half ounce of vermouth. If you are not a big vermouth fan, you can pull back on that, but we're gonna give that, that one a go today. So we're gonna do a half ounce of Noi, Noi Pratt Vermouth. Noi, I can't even pronounce it, Noi Pratt. David told me how to do that the other day. <clears throat> Obviously didn't take. Noi Pratt. Put some ice in here. And we're going to stir for about 15 seconds. I'm going to get my chilled glass. And here is the martini. And I am going to add two dashes of orange bitters. And we're going to give a orange zest garnish try here. And we're gonna do something I like to do, which is flame it. And there's a little bit of a helpful hint when you are flaming things with your Frida Kilo, Kilo matches. Uh, you heat it up a little bit. And there is our modified martini. Bracing uh, and delicious, and um, a nice variety from the traditional martini. Now, for today's poem, uh, of course, um, Blake has offered his choice and is very much, um, very much Blake. Uh, it's called Not Waving But Drowning. It was written by Margaret Florence Smith, also known as Stevie Smith, born in England in 1902, died in 1971. Her poem, Not Waving But Drowning. Nobody heard him, the dead man, but still he lay moaning. I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. Poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. It must have been too cold for him. His heart gave way, they said. Oh, no, no, no. It was too cold always. Still the dead one lay moaning. I was much too far out all my life, and not waving, but drowning. Blake adds at the end, Michael, darling, that's a cocktail bow. Indeed it is. To you, Blake, to your book, to Friday Cocktail Hours. Stay safe, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.